greatness can come from anywhere. I draw inspiration from the Filipino people and to God in my family. Hard work is the most difficult thing in boxing. Let's get into it. King Crawford. That's right. King Crawford. Pound for pound, welterweight King Tansborough Crawford will take over 154. Paul Crawford, July 29th, shocked the boxing world by utterly dominating Errol Spence. Dominating masterclass performance. He made an elite fighter look ordinary. Bud made Spence look ordinary. Spence is a phenomenal fighter, y'all. Phenomenal. Even if you are an Errol Spence fan, you got to give Bud his props. But if y'all ain't give Bud his props leading up into the fight, I know y'all not gonna give Bud his props after the fight. So let's move on. Terrence Bud Crawford deserves a break. Shout out to Errol Spence. He's right now in Ibiza, Spain, enjoying the fruits of his labor. Tough fight. He needs that time to relax, to recuperate, to get his mind right, because Errol has to make some hard decisions. Really retired. Definitely needs to take a break, focus on family, his career, but he's gonna to have to work on some things in the gym because you cannot fight Terrence Bud Crawford and think that you're going to get a different result in the second fight, even though the weight may be at 154. Now, a lot of people don't know what's going on with the rematch clause and the weight. Let me tell y'all, whoever lost that fight, which is Errol Spence, he has 30 days to activate that rematch clause. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to fight immediately, but Terrence Bud Crawford, being as though he won that fight, he's the one that dictates which weight that that next fight will happen at, 147 or 154. Errol wants that fight at 154, but it is a strategic advantage if he has that fight at 147 opposed to 154. A lot of people keep on saying like the weight, the weight, the weight, but let me tell y'all something. Errol made weight for the Sean Porter fight. He made weight for the Danny Garcia fight. He made weight for the Ugas fight. So now when it comes to Terrence Bar Crawford, the biggest fight of his career, now all of a sudden he can't make weight or he struggles to make weight. Errol has had a personal chef and dietitian, dietitian ever since the uh, torn, uh, torn retina, if I'm not mistaken. Now him moving up to 54, especially having that rematch at 154, that's his first fight at 154. Now him and Bud's gonna have the same obstacles at 154. And if he gets beat at 154, what will be the excuse then? Shout out to Errol Spence. He said, you know what, no excuses, the better man won. But your fans, Derrick James, they went on and they made Errol's, I mean, um, excuses for Errol Spence. Derrick James stating going on record saying that, yeah, he noticed that his leg wasn't right. The timing was off. So why didn't you see any of these things in camp? During camp, during the media workout, Errol Spence looked great, looked strong, looked focused. He looked like he was ready to, ready for the fight. But when fight night came, Errol looked like, I mean, he looked like somebody cloned him or something. I don't even know what to say, bro. King Crawford is going to go to 154 and dominate. Jamel Charlo, that fight is personal. We seen what he did to Errol and that fight wasn't personal. So imagine what he's going to do to Jamel Charlo. The easy route for Bud Crawford at 154 to fight Tim Zhu, take that WBO strat. You know the WBO is going to work their magic because Terrence Bud Crawford has been a WBO champion ever since he was at 135. WBO champion at 147 to possibly be the WBO champion at 154. He takes that WBO strat, fights Jamel Charlo, unifies those titles, become undisputed in three weight classes, goes down in history as one of the best welterweights of all times, pound for pound. And you mentioned the best welterweights ever in the sport of boxing. Tans Bud Crawford better be at the top of the list, if not in that top five. Yeah, I know you got Hearn and, and Leonard and all these guys, but Bud Crawford, if he pulls that off, you got to mention Bud Crawford with the best. Plain and simple. That's all I got. Talk, make you stand up as your boy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you already know how I play. Share the truth. Smash that like button, subscribe. Make sure y'all turn those notifications on. 
And if y'all do subscribe, welcome to the family. But those notifications are important. So when videos drop, you guys get informed on live streams, videos, shorts, and whole nine postings, everything. Fatality. Fatality.